How's it going guys? Mike here with Super Ammunition. Uh, today I want to talk, take a moment to talk to you guys about selecting a case gauge that best suits the firearm that you're using. Uh, so for this 2022 season, I'm going to be shooting a variety of firearms, but one of which is my Atlas Gunworks Artemis. Now this is a $6,500 2011 double stack 1911 that has a very tight chamber that I need to ensure my ammunition is sized appropriately. That way it can feed. So, if, whether whatever you're shooting, you want to make sure if you're a home loader that you're loading your ammunition specific to your gun and the tightness of your chamber. Now, if you go watch a, the previous video, I discussed this a little bit and we talked about check blocks, how we custom make our check blocks to an extremely tight tolerance. That way we ensure ammunition uh, fits in every single gun on the market. But I'm going to show you at home if you're at your bench loading how... A quick, easy, dirty way that you can do this yourself to make sure that your ammunition is going to feed reliably every time in your gun. So I have around here, this is our Competition 40 uh, long 118 570 power factor um, specific load. Now this is one that won't pass our check block. So when you are picking the goal with a chamber check or check block is you need to pick one that's tighter than your chamber. So you can use calipers and other tools um, to actually measure your chamber. Um, but the easiest way is just to find something that drops. So what we want to see is a bullet that drops and freely falls out. Now at Super Bowl Ammunition, this is our custom 40 count check block. Doesn't fit, right? This check block is tighter than any chamber I found on the market. So I know that when ammunition passes this check block, it's going to fit all of your guys' ammo. If this is a 40 competition uh, load that you're buying, it's going to chamber in your gun. This is one of the tightest chambers on the market. And it freely drops in. If you listen, you want to hear that plunk, and you want it to freely fall out. That way you can ensure smooth, smooth feeding and smooth extraction. I uh, kind of want to show you guys the Sheridan gauge. It's a cutout gauge. If you're on the loading bench and you're having issues wondering what's want, wrong with the cartridge, you can get one of these. Drop it in. It has an actual cutout to show you what is happening with this one. There's a slight case bulge due to a misalignment, which is causing a lateral bulge on one side. This is at a minimum spec as well, so it's going to catch that. This is at a minimum spec as well, so it's going to catch that right atlas is smart enough not to build their chamber at that minimum of a spec because then you'd have reliable feeding issues but that's what we're looking for so that's pretty simple quick down and dirty of how you can do it now if you don't want to go buy a check block i mean there are shooters that literally take their barrel out of the gun and as they're loading they're checking with their actual barrel and chamber that they are going to be using um, on the range. So that's how we do it here at Supervel. We ensure that we build our blocks to match our flip trays and that they are tighter than any gun that you're going to find out there. That way, when it passes this and leaves our facility, it's going to chamber in your gun. So some consideration for you home loaders, do the same. Easiest way is to load and make sure it's dropping free. There's no resistance. Uh, another note is don't do this with a clean chamber. So this has like 300 rounds on it. It's not spotless because if this gun's spotless, it might drop free. I might get a little bit dirty. It's a little bit of buildup. All of a sudden it doesn't. So I want to do this test with a slightly dirty chamber to ensure as I'm at a match or in practice, my gun continues to run reliably. This is a Sheridan Engineering. That's a good one if you want a single. Hundo makes a good one for the big Hundo case gauge as well as, um, you know, for an extra tightness. I will tell you there are gauges on the market that this will pass cons consistently, but might not pass in certain guns. So be cautious of that, um, buy accordingly, but that's how I check my ammunition, whether it's for my own personal competition use or it's for my customer's use. We want the tightest, we want the best, we want it to feed reliably to keep you guys out on the range shooting and having fun. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day.